Not shirt that slewed. Not on my Christian Minecraft server. There we go. This one's less lewd. A loading screen. Fun. Editing remix. Please remember to take this out. How many times do I have to remind you? And no matter times how many times I for how ma how many times I remind you, you always seem to forget. And it always makes all my videos start incredibly awkwardly and incredibly slowly. When will you learn? Anyway, welcome back to Minecraft Hardcore Mode Cave Dweller Cave Hermit uh challenge. No face cam this time. Uh it's like 9:30. I'm really sleepy. I want to go to sleep, but I also want to play Minecraft. How do you even play Minecraft while driving? Seriously, there must be something wrong with your head. Uh, I named I named Minecraft World Inside. I just remembered. Uh, it's a reference. Shout outs to the people who understood the reference. It's the name of a video game. Hint, hint. Anyway, what am I supposed to do now? It's been a while, like one day since I last played, and now I'm a, a, I, I don't know what I should be doing now. All I know is there is dragon, and dragon must not must commit on live. Make dragon commit on live. That is goal. But what is my current steps and process and method to get to do that goal? Oh god. Did I already mention that there's no face cam and why? So yeah, uh, like I said, it's 9.30. Lighting's bad. Can't be bothered to set up the face cam anyways. Plus, it'll be a, ye a real yare yare dawa. If I, uh, if I put in a face cam, because it just means I'll have to spend more time in the editing room than I have to, than I should be, because, uh, I really just want to play a game and record myself doing it. Ah, I'm gonna have to pause, even though there's cool music playing, I, so just so that I can fucking do this. Oh, I cursed. Whoop, so much for being Christian. Uh, I could do this, add webcam overlay, thingamajigger bobber, but like, uh, eh, default camera sucks, especially this laptop's default camera sucks, uh, it's to be expected. Anyway, we're here, it's a little laggy, but it'll get better soon. Just enjoy the music while I, uh, recollect my scrambled eggs. Scrambled thoughts. So then, let's see here. Uh, a bat just died in lava. Okay. Uh, don't get distracted now. So I got access to the nether now. I guess the next logical course of action is to find diamonds, right? What are ye? What a real yara yara does he? It'd be nice if I could uh, expand this cave house of mine too. Uh, expanding this cave house is a little bit of a dangerous gambit on my side because, uh, as you may know, uh, I sort of just dug this hole right next to a ravine I fell down on in a panic to get inside to, of a cave. Before the timer, before night time fell, uh, stated by my challenge. Is there a way so, like, you can spawn immediately? Like, there's probably, like, a seed where you spawn. Well, no, I'm pretty sure, uh, Minecraft always makes it so you always, uh, spawn. I'm gonna need a new shovel. Might as well make an iron one. Anyway, uh, Minecraft always makes it so you always spawn at the top. Or something like that. 
there's like a bunch of specific set of rules the game follows when assigning where you'll start on a newly generated world or something like that. Nothing too complicated, just something to make sure you don't die the literal moment you spawn. Uh, what else should I carry with me? Torches, that's for sure. Uh, we got a sustainable amount of wood anyway, I mean, we only got one tree growing at a time and it's manual. Uh, so, uh, it's a little slow, but what can you do? I should probably, you know, expand my base, make things more efficient before I start going for diamonds. But screw that. I wanna go for diamonds. Like, right now. What else should I bring with me on my expedition? Nothing really. So there is this cave. Oh, I need to fight some monsters. I need string. I want string. Did I sleep yet? Uh, nope, I have not. But now I have. And now I have peace of mind. This is what I wanted to do since part one, but I kept forgetting it. But now I've remembered, and now I have peace of mind. Oh wow, look at that, I got boots. Shiny, shiny, pretty boots. Lovely. Oh right, there's some gold. I'll go get those. And some more coal over here. I'll get those too. But yeah, uh, I am I know a lot about the game, Minecraft, its system, and shirt. But the more technical aspects, and even the not-so-technical aspects that are just literally a part of the game, uh, I'm referring to, of course, redstone. Uh, those parts I'm not so adept at, so I'm wondering if like there's like a mod you can install, or like there's a, a, a thing. Yeah, thing. Or a seed, or a way, just... Anyway, really, uh, I don't want to grab the redstone, honestly. Want to wait until I get, like, uh... Is this? Nah, that's just, that's just a literal pool of lava. I can use that to get more obsidian so I can get an enchanting table and an ender chest in the future. But for now, there's some place I want to explore, but at the same time, I don't want to. I think I'm really just gonna go strip mining for today. I want to have at least full iron gear, full set of iron armor before I uh, decide to... Do anything reckless and dangerous and risky and has the chance... Even something as minute and small as a 0 0.0000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000
I remember the house. You cannot possibly harm me in that position. And then I and then the hardcore series ends unceremoniously in part two. Can't even be mad when that happens. Just honestly, literally disappointed. Alright, this is gonna be one heck of a boring video. Cause, uh, this is all you'll be seeing. Uh, let's see if I have, like, a lot of things to talk about. I keep going on tangents, but, uh, I was talking about a better way of starting this. So, originally, what I wanted to do was you literally just start off in a cave. And... It'll be no fun if you just made like a mod, or if you just made it so that uh, it's literally impossible to generate uh, overworld stuff, and you're always trapped. There's a bedrock roof above you, just like how it is in the nether, and probably in conjunction with that, the end would be the same. Nah, that's boring. Uh, I think it'll be more fun if the actual overworld existed, but you just weren't allowed to go there, and you actually spawned inside a cave at the very beginning. That might be a little hard, because obviously, if you spawn in the middle of a cave, that means it's dark. And that also means there's no wood. But then again, uh, I guess this type of challenge is better suited as a, as a form of a map, honestly. Kind of like a skyblock. Because skyblock uh, took a little bit of creative liberty. I mean, if, you, if you're just in a small island... And you want to survive and have everything, then of course you're gonna have to take some creative properties. So if there's gonna be a map that uh, under block, that's what we'll call it for now, or maybe even cavern block or hermit block. It could make it so that. If you explore enough of the cavern, you can eventually find the stuff that you need. Or maybe in the very beginning of the cavern map is a literal... is a chest, just like in Skyblock, that contains all the necessary things you'll need to survive. And maybe the starting place you have is probably gonna be well lit, so you don't just get bombarded with mobs coming right at you, your face. Honestly, that would be no fun and a little unfair, honestly. And nobody wants that. Uh, normally, you're supposed to just do this, and I I'm, I'm kind of tempted to, but the way I mine, it's sort of more efficient if I mine both of the blocks like that for strip mining. Right now, I'm doing one lane, but I usually like do multiple lanes, and there's multiple levels too. So my shaft goes, uh, that sounded so sexual. My shaft, oh fuck. I feel bad for say for even saying, implying that it could be misconstrued as sexual. Ugh, why do I keep doing that to myself? Yes! 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 Already, baby! Already! It'd be nice if I got some more iron, too. But already, baby! Oh, yes! We already got diamonds. Normally, we need five, but, like... You, I technically don't even need diamond. The number one reason you'd want diamond... Well, obviously, I'd probably still want diamond... The Ender Dragon's a bitch in hard mode, so best to be over-prepared and have diamond gear that's fully enchanted. If this lasts all the way to 1.16, then obviously we're gonna have to turn, we're gonna have to get ourselves, ooh, more tree. I should probably make this thing bigger. I think the lack of air blocks is making it so that the tree that grows is always going to be like really really small mm -hmm. 
I want more iron, honestly. But if I remember correctly, you'll need like 28, am I correct? In order to get full diamond, but since I already got boots, subtract that by 4. That makes it 24 iron is what we need. I meant to craft a pickaxe. Excuse me, what am I gonna do with two sticks and three lumps of metal? My pockets? No, you stay here. You stay inside. You stay inside. No, it's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Thank you for being cooperative. I gave you a name in part one, but I forgot all what your name was already. Editing Remix. Uh, what was his name? Uh, I'm gonna go open and close my lips a bunch of times and you're gonna dub me saying the name. Our dear beloved chicken whose name is... Yeah, I love him so. He is my favorite. He is everyone's favorite. Yeah. Iron, okay then, lapis. So obviously, I guess we still need a diamond pickaxe. Mm, about seven diamonds is what we is what I want. Is I want a diamond pickaxe, a diamond sword, and the remaining two would be used in order to make enchanting tables. I'll mine the first seven diamonds and the rest, I'll just be keeping them until I get myself a fortune pick. That seems like a nice strategy. You know, this challenge is actually a lot more lax now that I think about it. It's a lot similar to Skyblock now that I think about it. The first, uh, the first part of the challenge is always the most hype-inducing and most hardest, most intense, most heart-throbbing, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm like describing all these things, but none of them are the exact word I'm looking for. Dang it, there's just two diamonds. Oh well. Two is more than enough. Alright, the coast is clear. Heck... Yes, baby. What's that noise I keep hearing sometimes? It sounds like a leather being soothed or something like that. I always thought it was the animals making it, but now that I'm hearing it even in here... What's that sound supposed to mean anyway? I kind of want to turn off ambience. Scary, and I don't like scary. Oh, but it'll turn off the environment as well. Up, well, uh, I guess I'm gonna have to deal with the scary ambient music. Maybe that's a uh, part of the challenge of this, of the challenge as well. The fact that you're uh, stuck listening to. Super scary cave noises. Then again, I play normal Minecraft, and Minecraft just doesn't know, just can't distinguish between the overworld and the caves. And they'll play ambient scary music n nevertheless. Alright, we got some more iron now. Not bad, not bad. We got enough for an enchanting table, we technically don't need... Ooh... Korewa? I thought... I thought for a second there I discovered a cave. <laughs> ah. It's nothing to be excited about, in fact, it's something to be worried about, honestly, if I accidentally... if I stumble across a cave while strip mining. Because, like I said, I'm unprepared, and... Any, even the slightest, smallest risk of death. Eh, I don't want that. Honestly, I really hate hardcore. 
I don't like hardcore. Er, not because I'm like a scaredy cat or a noob or anything. Although you're free to chastise me for not liking hardcore. It just doesn't suit my playstyle. I like I like playing Minecraft survival mode to relax. And having the and having the it's not even really a challenge. Uh, the only difference hardcore does is that you only get one life and you can't respawn. Uh, I don't honestly see the appeal in it. But a lot of people certainly find the appeal and, you know, got nothing against them. Uh, as long as we're cool and we're chill and we can understand that we have different opinions because we're both human beings. You are over there and I am over here. I am in this position, in this relative position, relative to the Earth and the Universe, and you are over there, relative to your own position in the Earth and the Universe. And as long as we can respect that fact, then it's all chill and we shouldn't really be, and we don't need to get mad at each other. The need to verify. Ooh, look at that. There's diamonds there. Uh, I don't like this place at all. Oh ho 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 ho! I love the Minecraft OSD. Uh. My favorite OST. Oh no! Get it quickly, quickly! Damn it! It burned. I hit craft a trap door. I just realized a trap door would be like really nice. Oh boy! My worst fears. They have been fulfilled. This, I have entered into a cavern. Dun dun dun! Well, thanks to the lava, the place is pretty well lit, honestly. So, uh... And it's not a ravine, so I don't have to worry about creepers just deciding to say fuck you. And deciding to say that your uh, Minecraft world is over now. That's another thing why I hate hardcore. Because hardcore... Punish you, punishes you for things that just aren't in your control. A lot of things in Minecraft just aren't in control of the player. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. But when mine, but when there's a mo, but when there's a feature that punishes you for things like that, well, not necessarily punish, but more like, more so, uh, what would be the word for it? I think I should just start a, a, a strip mine in a different place in a different direction, honestly. There should be another place here that's also Y11. Right here. This place is Y11. I don't like the fact that it, there's lava though, but that can be easily fixed. God, I hate the fact that when I'm not in full screen. Oh God, I'm out of torches. Never mind, they're in my offhand. <laughs> ah, just goes to show how scatterbrained I really am. The new water mechanics introduced in like 1.14 was it? They're confusing. I don't understand them. I'm so used to the old way. Water works. Uh, I'm sort of averse to the changes. Uh, that's just what happens when you're older. Man, I hate being old. I also hate old people. When you're old, you're averse to changes. You, you become senile old fool who just thinks the old times were just way better than they really are. Like a... Uh, hey, grand, grand. Remember the good times when you were like a little child 
and every day was just the sound of gunshots and death. And every now and then there'd be blood on your house, on your window. Obviously, that's an over-exaggeration, but you get what I mean. The good old times just isn't really that much of a good old time. I mean, in this generation so far, uh, we've lived a pretty good life without much trouble. Uh, of course, there's still a few disappointments here and there, but those disappointments are just related to entertainment. Entertainment is just that, entertainment. It, it It's literally pointless. That's the whole point of entertainment. They're pointless time wastes of time. Making them, spending time in, with them, indulging in them. It's, a, it's all a waste of time. But, uh, recently, and uh, the whole reason I'm doing this video anyway is because of this recent event. You know what I'm talking about? The coronavirus. Yeah, uh, not so much a good time anymore, isn't it? In hindsight, you look back at this, you look back at the times and remember that you'll probably forget about the coronavirus when reminiscing. But oh boy, it is a thing. You can try to ignore it, you can try to forget it, but forgetting doesn't mean it doesn't exist anymore. Unless, unless it's the law, then in which case, if all physical evidence of something is erased, then by all means, it just doesn't exist. It just doesn't exist. Uh, let's plant ourselves a new sapling, shall we? And while we're here, I want a new pickaxe, and I want to expand my tree farm a little bit. I should invest in making a spot in my base. For my little chickens to grow on. Uh, the first thing I want to build, uh, honestly, mechanical wise, would be a chicken farm. It wouldn't be that hard to make. I'd need hoppers, treasure chests. I always call chests treasure chests. I mean, can you, can you, can't you help it? I mean, look at that. That's literally a treasure chest. I mean, not all chests contain treasure, and not all chests were made for treasure. But... Habit. You know, it, it just be like that sometimes. Alright, expando power! Just expanding this means I'll be getting more saplings, and it, and while it is only going to make me get a few bit more wood as a result of expanding this, the whole point is the whole point is just I really want big bigger trees. I just want bigger trees. So to all you old people out there, and I guess including me, it's part of our nature, but try to keep an open mind and be open to change. The past is the past, it cannot be changed, and no one should be forced to live in the past. We must always look forward as humanity. And strive for everlasting change and improvement. And to do that, we need to get rid of stupid ideals such as traditions. And uh, in addition, maybe culture. Hey, look at that iron. Lucky. Man, now that I think about it, Skyblock's not that difficult to make, but how would you make... How would you make a fucking, my idea, the hermit block? 
Could you manually design a cave? Manually place down the ores you can find? That'd be a real pain in the ass. Honestly. Uh, maybe I'm not the only one who's ever came up with this idea. It's just that it's hard. Probably. You know? And that's why there's no uh, cave block, hermit block. There is hermit craft, but uh, y y it's totally different. Underblock is a bad name too, cause it just me it just means people can reference haha Undertale. Is this enough iron for me to make an, a full set of iron gear now? That'd be really nice. The full set of iron gear I can explore with a uh, uh, feeling at least a little bit more safe. I'm still gonna get one shot if I got point blank exploded in the face by a creeper. But. I'll at least be safe from most attacks. Just attacks that aren't explosions. So, yeah, pretty much everything. Need more torches. Wow, you just laid a fucking baby right in front of my face. That's gross. It even makes a cute little pop sound. Don't pretend like that isn't gross, Minecraft. No matter how cartoony you make it, the fact of the matter is that chicken just laid a fucking baby in front of me. And that's gruesome. And gross. Well, maybe not gruesome. Just gross. Oh, I've already been playing for 30 minutes. I can't believe I got lucky. Ah, oh, man, I found diamonds real quick. Alright, purchase. Let's get ready to rumble. Well, I was about to say let's light the place up, but... Mm. I'm sad in my mouth sometimes. And I hate myself for it. be much easier if I did this. It'll be a little gross looking, because I'm not gonna be bothering myself to even f much, so much as fix it. I'll make a grid shape like this a girder. To remind myself while I'm working. Huh, is that a little it's is that a different sound that place? It sounds like a different sound that place. Is the sound different when you're like mining a different block than stone? Whoa, you grew quick. I didn't expect that. It's because I was in this chunk for a while, so that means uh, you had all the time in the world to use all your ticks and grow. Or is it because there's more light now? There's more open air? Well, either way, I'm happy. So, there would be supposed to be blocks here. Fuck. Already broken. Look at that, I've already amassed a massively massive amount of cobblestone in just two parts. Because this ma- this- this- this challenge just demands 
that you carve everything from out of stone. Yep, I have enough to make full iron armor now, so, uh, let's do it. And there we go, baby. Alright. That's always very satisfying to see. Alright, and we got just enough so we can wait one more. I wonder if I should edit in playing music, because... A lot of the time, Minecraft is a very silent game, but when they does decide to play music, it's always such a treat. That's probably that's one of the reasons, psychologically speaking, uh, the absence of music makes uh, makes it so that whenever a music does appear, it's a very special occasion. Speaking of the. I was go I was going to talk about this but I think I forgot but now I'm going to talk about it. I like the Nether music. I think the OS the soundtrack for the Nether is really really awesome. I love how they sound. They sound very Egyptian and hot themed desert pyramid Egyptian themed music to it. Uh they really feel hellish and landscapey. They also feel very uh Calming and soothing to me for some reason, and that's why I like him. My favorite uh, soundtrack that plays is Ballad of the Cats. Such a cool track. Starts off. I regret not having a face cam right now. How did you get here? Oh my god! You're amazing! Yeah, I totally said his name just now. And I didn't just dub it. Or, even worse, Editing Remix forget forgot to dub in my voice in it. And now I just look like an idiot that's, ra that's doing. Sounds. Is this big enough? Yep, this is the exact dimensions that I want. Wow, why is my voice like this now? I'm so impressed and amazed. My voice just literally changed. And now I sound like a ripoff of Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Now I was imitating someone else there. Uh, who I was imitating? Imitating? I honestly don't remember. But I sure do know that I was imitating someone. Who it was? Don't know. Ah yes, the Minecraft music, lovely. I am going to edit music in. Uh, Minecraft music's definitely the way to go. Honestly. Is there any other music that can fit? I mean, if you're making a, like a time lapse, you can put in like stupid fucking dubstep music like everyone does in their Minecraft Let's Plays. But I think Minecraft Let's Plays should be strictly, if you're gonna put music in them, it should strictly be calm melodic themes like these. I don't know the genre for them. What they're what the genre is called? Trance? Nah, it's not it's not trance, that's for sure. Trance is a very loud genre. A lot of genres I listen to are really loud anyways. And royalty free like classical music would probably be good to put on Minecraft. I mean it worked for Slam and that's probably why I think that's the kind of OST that best that best suits Minecraft videos. But 
yeah. Also, you know, copyright and all that jazz. Don't want to get copyright struck and add in copyrighted music. Royalty free music is boring too. Everyone knows them and everyone listens to them. Classical music, while they are the same, unlike royalty free music, uh, they're actually good. <laughs> Uh, that sounds really mean, honestly. Kevin McLeod makes a lot of royalty-free music. A lot of the royalty-free music you listen to and you hear, uh, YouTubers use, um, they're probably from Kevin, honestly. Uh, the name might be familiar to you, but I've known the name for a long time and as I've been listening to his royalty-free music for the longest time now, but uh, he's the guy that made Super Smash Flash. Well, he's the director, at least, anyways. Oh god, I need more chests. Alright, let's go cave exploring. We got armor now. We can safely traverse. We can safely traverse the place. The only way to get string would be through spiders. There might be other ways to get them so you can still get them on peaceful mode or something. For the most part, the easiest way you can get string would be by killing spiders. Mm, I, you know, are actually I don't. Are spiders hostile to you if they spawn underground? Because if they're passive in the morning. It, it would be really nice if I had like a clock to tell me if it's daytime or nighttime. That way, if I go cave dwelling, I can safely wander the cave or the cavern area and only have to worry about the undead mobs and the creepers. Alright, round two of cavern exploring. Go. Cavern Exploring 2, the Electric Boogaloo. Yamete, 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 yamete yo. Mori shiginayo. Yamete, 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 yamete yo. Oh man, I just realized I won't ever be encountering phantoms ever in this playthrough. Because of the nature of this challenge. Mm. Oh god, I didn't bring my shield. Am I stupid? You literally can't go anywhere without a shield. Oh god. I just yawned. I really am sleepy, huh? Uh, just a few more minutes. And I'm meeting my one hour quota. Anyways. Honestly, I should record for like one hour and 30 minutes because if I am going to be heavily editing the videos, I'll probably cut a whole lot of shit in. And and at, wor at worst, if I cut in too much, it'll be just 15 minutes of gameplay. 
not that uh, it's not about how long a video is it's about the content you know quality over quantity not that that makes any sense and that when you say that in the context of a video and you're uh, saying the quantity over quality because what defines quantity and quality are you defining quality as time or quantity as time and uh, just sucks my hunger meter hasn't moved an inch ever since I entered the cave. I don't run a lot because I'm in closed areas that are that are incredibly small that uh, really running would just be a waste of hunger. Alright. Why am I being so paranoid about this leading outside? That's literally nearly pretty much impossible. This is a chasm and oh yes it does lead outside that was a close call how does that lead oh what did i open <laughs> that scared me i saw a little bit of daylight uh the fuck did i press i can't believe i got so scared over that you're easily startled by things when you're on high alert Should I explore this cavern? Maybe. Not that I'll find anything valuable if I do. Uh, let's do it. First things first. You gotta go. Huh. Well, this was disappointing. I didn't destroy the source block for that lava, so if I ever end up needing it. Lava is not a renewable resource. Fun fact. There are a lot of renewable resources in Minecraft with varying difficulties of renewableness. Lava isn't one of them. Corals are a non-renewable source. Minecraft did Minecraft creators did that on purpose because they wanted to be pro-environmentalist. And the players really hate it. <laughs> well, YouTubers anyway, because uh they're non-renewable and you're playing on like a server or something, like say Hermitcraft, then you're gonna run out of those resources real quick. Well, not that re non-renewable resources are gonna be that much of a hassle anyway. Minecraft worlds are already so big as they are. That you can literally just walk around and you'll eventually come across something. Don't, pl don't tell me this is a ravine and this also leads outside. Also, how... Anyway, we're at Y11. For gosh's sake, we're very deep underground. There shouldn't be... There shouldn't be things leading all the way up to the surface from this level. Kind of level. Well, I am out of pickaxe. Looks like we're gonna have to deal with using stone pickaxes. Hardcore mode just forces you paranoid. You don't have to, but if you don't, then you'll be saying goodbye to a lot of hardcore worlds and over a, a lot 
That's just not for me. I want long-term fun where there's lots of things to do. And I can always do, and death in and of itself is already pretty punishing already anyway. Minecraft just isn't the type of game for me where that kind of stuff is something that should happen, in my opinion. I keep changing topics, but I keep, always keep switching to the same old topics that I talk about. So in that sense, uh, the commentary is pretty good, I guess, and pretty consistent, but at the same time, pretty random. Alright, I want that diamond. I guess it's really as simple as getting there and turning the surrounding blocks into obsidian. Pay attention to those subtitles, people. A skeleton could mean instant death in this scenario. Also, I heard, I saw in the subtitles B buzzes. What the fuck? Masaka. Mitsubachi. In the cave? I had to switch back to English there because I didn't know the Japanese words for in the and cave. I got a stack of torches. I can. Ah, shh. I need iron. Up, oh, speak of the devil. There's a few bunch of areas that are unlit and dark and scary. Or something can spawn, and I'm really paranoid I might accidentally drop into lava. You'd have to be a whole level of clumsiness in order for that to even happen, but. No risks taken in hardcore mode, folks. That's that's how I treat them. That's how I treat a hardcore playthrough. No risks. No funny business. No fun. <laughs> just no fun. Straight up. Hardcore mode just forces you to play. Just forces me to play in in a way that's where no fun is allowed. This is the no fun zone. God, that. That bat really startled me. Fuck you. I wanna kill you, but it seems like you're already doing it for me. I'm savage. Alright, don't drop into the lava now, people. Or irons. Alright, this place... I have learned that this place really just sucks. If I could describe this place in a one word, in two words, uh, it would be this sucks. This place just sucks. Period. It's filled with lava. It's well lit, at least, thanks to that. But everywhere. It's a ri it's a health hazard, a risk, a fire hazard. Uh, this place, however, is not. It's more of a mob hazard now than anything. Wow, it keeps going up, huh? It's a straight up. Ah! Ah! Creeper! 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 Creeper alert! Creeper alert! Creeper alert! Creeper alert! Ah! Don't kill me! Don't kill me! Fuck! He has the upper ground! Fuck! Now I'm cornered! What? Dang it, I could've gotten some gunpowder off of him. I didn't die. I didn't die. Thank God. The playthrough still lives.
All the more reason to hurry the fuck up and light this entire area. I hope this doesn't lead to the surface. Oh, oh my god. My heart. If there was like a heart rate monitor. I'm pretty sure my heart's currently running. I like fucking. One hundred and ninety six beats right now. Like, oh my god. Ugh, I hate creepers. They're just so scary. Ah, man, I just realized thanks to this challenge. Nah, I can still make an iron farm. I just need to get lucky and uh, find myself a zombie villager, right? One zombie villager's all it takes. Alright, uh, that's enough cave exploring. I'm fucking... I'm fucking out of here. Fuck this place. Oh my god, I hate this place. Uh, I hate it so much. Uh, uh. I hate this challenge. I hate hardcore. I hate everything. Why do I do this? Oh my god. Endless suffering. Zombie pigman grunts. Oh my god. There's a zombie pigman in the overworld now. It was bound to happen eventually. Alright. Let's cook this shit. Uh, and let's call it a day. Oh man, I burped. I can't believe I just did that. <sighs> Alright. Well, that was a thing. It was all calm and nice and dandy and just tranquil, and for the most part, just peaceful. And then a creeper shows up and reminds you that life sucks and you are never safe and every and everywhere is dangerous and you must always be alert. It's a life lesson that Minecraft is trying to tell us. The creepers are a metaphor for the tr the dangers and risks of life. It's unpredictable nature and the sudden uh, and just how uh, explosive life can be in general you know one moment you're living a peaceful life uh, traveling around exploring a cave and then the next BAM there's a fucking creeper and you suddenly you're at the risk of being killed by just one wrong move it was like a fucking it's like a fucking nightmare was an it's like a fucking nightmare encounter from Mary Skelter only there's no warning uh, there's no white fog or black fog to tell you that there's a nightmare nearby it just sort of boop I'm here now because I'm fucking snark and I'm the king of all nightmares I'm like super dangerous and I'll kill you ho oh, ha, 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 ha I'm so evil 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 And then you die, but thankfully I did not die. I... my soul just died. Which, you know, no big deal. I mean, it was already dead enough as it is. All I did was leave my body. All did, all, did, all did was... my soul left my body behind and now I'm a soulless husk. I got so scared my soul decided to go to the afterlife before my body. I hope it. I hope it has a nice life in hell. Because <laughs> uh, let's face it, I'm a sinner, and uh, hell and heaven does indeed exist. Ooh, a spider! Where? I want to murder it. Uh, how did you get there? I just re. I just realized. Why am I doing this? Why am I doing all this fucking emotive facial expressions? 
All this time when I've been making this video, when I don't even have a fucking face cam. Lip syncing my voice to me saying my fucking chicken's name, which I still don't remember. One hour has passed. Fucking bye. Video's over.